Aloha, I'm Rosin Steiner, president of Steiner Biotechnology. The purpose of this video is to introduce our latest contribution to the dental bone graft industry. After recognizing the need to modernize aging socket grafting technology, we have worked hard to develop revolutionary bone grafting solutions with three goals in mind. First, ease of application without preparation. Second, create a firm, stable, and packable bone graft that will control bleeding in the extraction socket. Our third and final goal is to maximize the osteogenic capacity of our technology to produce the quickest rate of bone regeneration available in today's market. The following is a practical demonstration of socket graft as it is applied to a model to show you the ease and speed of the process. Here we have a model that is heated to mimic the oral cavity. Throughout our development, we discovered that the graft material reduced inflammation and postoperative pain. After the tooth has been extracted, take the material out of the freezer and use immediately, not allowing it to thaw. This will maintain the density of the petals for ease of application. Open the pouch and keep the graft material in the sterile bag. The graft material is kept in a flexible, medical grade silicone tray. The tray is flexed while in the bag to loosen the petals from the tray and to prevent dropping the material. The bag is opened and the tray is placed on the operating table. The petals have a pointed end and a blunt end. Pick up the petal with cotton pliers at the blunt end and place it into the extraction socket. Use a bone graft packer to press the graft material into the socket. As the petal contacts the bone, it melts and fills the root system with chilled graft material. Your assistant continues to deliver the petals to the graft site as the graft material is packed into the socket. To contain bleeding, a 2x2 two two gauze can be placed over the socket as the material is packed. While the graft material is being adequately packed into the socket, the gauze wicks the blood at the site. The gauze will not affect the performance of the graft material. Be sure to locate the top of the crest before you pack the socket. If you overpack and fill the gingiva, you are not only wasting material, but also creating an unstable surface for the membrane that is used to cover the graft. Socket graft is intended to be used when all four bony walls are intact after extraction. However, when there are missing walls, we recommend using Socket Graft Plus, which is provided in the same delivery system as Socket Graft. Socket Graft Plus contains our third-generation beta-tricalcium phosphate granules which help maintain socket structure. Socket Graft Plus can also be used in all socket grafting situations. Let's review the product's performance radiographically to illustrate its effectiveness. In this image, a significant vertical fracture is obvious through the crown and down the mesial root. The tooth was extracted and grafted with socket graft and covered with a Teflon membrane. Remember to avoid overfilling into the gingival margin to prevent the membrane from becoming loose during the healing process. This radiograph was taken two weeks after extraction and grafting. Socket graft possesses a unique composition of soluble and insoluble properties. The matrix becomes porous after several days as the soluble component washes out. This revolutionary porous matrix allows for rapid migration of mesenchymal stem cells and osteoblasts into the graft material. You can see the roots are filled with mineralized bone. At two weeks and around the coronal portion of the socket, bone can be seen growing into the remaining graft material coronal to the roots. This radiograph was taken six weeks after grafting. The matrix in the coronal portion of the extraction socket is now mineralized, including the crust. In only eight weeks, this extraction socket will be ready for implant placement. Socket graft is the only graft material the FDA has cleared for implant placement eight weeks after grafting. 
It is the only graft material on the market that can truly stimulate osteogenesis. In addition, a study of 100 consecutive implants showed 100% integration and 100% success after three years. If you are new to this product, we suggest you wait 12 weeks for implant placement. This will allow you to gain experience with the material before trying early implant placement. Mahalo Nui Loa and thank you. I hope this video has made you just as excited as we are about this revolutionary technology. If you have any questions on how this or any of our other innovative products can help your patients, I encourage you to contact me directly. Together we can discuss which product is best for your case and introduce this regenerative technology into your practice.